Okay, but show us the paper. rules. I don't have to. You, what do you mean you don't have to? That's, that's not, I don't have to provide your rules on property. So obviously racing is very expensive at any level, whatever. But when you're talking about the top level of dirt bike racing, top level of anything, getting to all around, buying the race fuel, buying the parts, having spares, gas, fuel, food, hotels, anything, whatever you want to say, is super expensive. So in an interview with NBC Sports, uh, Bobby Piazza, who if you haven't figured out this video was about, said, quote, it cost me around 1500 every weekend just to get there. Whether you're driving or flying to all these rounds after signing up, after sign up, fuel costs, bills, hotels, all the other fun stuff. At first in Houston, I did twenty dollar donations, and you'd get a free T-shirt because you're not allowed to sell stuff in the pet in the pits, at least without a permit or whatever you want to say. Uh, then had then I had people take pictures with me and my bike. I had a couple of kids rev my bike, and it went off pretty much from there. People started digging it, and then Daytona came around. I said, screw it, rev my bike for twenty dollars for a twenty dollar donation, trying to get me to the next round. In Atlanta, this is where this happened. Failed to shut it down because they deemed it to compromise the safety of the event. Now, obviously, if you saw the first clip, the guy who, whoever he is, a security guard, a failed person, whatever it is, whether his name is John or whatever, um, obviously handles this probably the worst way he possibly can. Sitting there and saying, oh, I don't need to tell you a rule. Well, then anyways, anything that a, a security guard, a, a quote-unquote official could walk up to be somebody and say, you need to leave. I don't need a rule. I can just kick you out or uh, you can't do that because I don't like it. I, I don't need to tell you anything, which is it's one, not a very good look for Feld or the AMA or whoever he's associated with, quote unquote. And at the end of this video, you can watch his whole Bobby's whole Instagram post and tell for yourself. But like, obviously, there's ways to handle things and ways to not. And it's just like, obviously, this guy is just trying to get to the next round, just trying to make you know, trying to make his way in racing off donations and whatever they can do. Obviously, for the last couple of years, privateer funding has been a very big thing between Logan Carnow and OnlyFans and now people, you know, not being able to sell in the pits because apparently they've been told no by Feld and all this other stuff, whatever. So anything that these guys can do as a privateer to make money, to make it to the next round, to pay for their life, whatever they can, they're going to try and do. And I don't think this is the worst thing in the world. Oh no, I can understand if they had people sitting there revving it like for 10, 20 minutes in a row. Like, I'll rev here, there, twice, whatever. Not that big of a deal. So, I don't know, in the comments below you tell me. Do you think this has just got blown way out of proportion because it, of the amount of traction it got or whatever stupidity? Or, I don't know, I don't see this being that big of a deal to me. Like, if I went to a racetrack and I went into the pits and I heard a bike revving, Whatever. It wouldn't bother me that much. I mean, I can understand where some people maybe in the pat in the pit next to them or something might get annoyed with it because obviously they have to hear it more than somebody just walking by. Still not that big of a deal, I don't think. But in the comments below, you tell me. Because personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but whatever. Comments below, leave your opinion. Tell me what you think. Watch the rest of the video if you want to watch the whole his whole Instagram post, whatever you want to say. As you're going down there, like, share, subscribe to all the fun things this platform allows you to do because it really helps me out playing the YouTube algorithm game, and I appreciate it. And with that, I'll see you later. Peace. That's the show. We're out here in Land Motor Speedway, revving my bike, making these fans. Dreams come true. We're out here, baby. Let's go. stick together. Oh, shit. Let's go. I'm here for the people. Let's go, babies. Let's go, fired up. Doing it for the fans. Feld is shutting us down right now because I'm revving my bike. Trying to go racing. This is Wiz. This is John right here. Oh, John, yeah. He's shutting us down at Supercross. I'm trying to make the fans happy. I'm trying to make the best experience in the pits. Look at that. 20 bucks. You don't even want Show us the rules. I don't have to. What do you mean you don't have to? That's not. I don't have to provide your rules on property. Here, it's donation. Donation. Listen, it's donation. Listen, let me finish. Listen, donation. Let me finish. These are bringing me hundreds of Okay, if you want to talk, money. we're not going to get you. I was fucking harassing my girlfriend down in fucking Dallas how long ago? Harassing your girlfriend. Guys, a superstar. A 50. Dude, look at this. Another one. Keep it coming! Yeah, look at this!
and you ain't gonna remember that next week, but you'll remember this. No, sir. <laughs>